Hello and welcome back to Jack's Mac. Last week we set up Homebridge, but we did not go through how to actually add any devices to Homebridge or to HomeKit. So today I'm going to go through with you really quick how to add devices to HomeKit and then explain how we add devices to Homebridge to get HomeKit to recognize them as a HomeKit device. Should be a pretty quick one this week, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with a simple one. This is an official HomeKit device with HomeKit. So you're gonna to go to your iOS device. You're gonna hit your home app, open that up, hit the plus button at the top right. Add accessory. It's gonna ask you for the eight digit key. It should be just as easy as holding up that eight digit key right up to the camera, have it detect it. You, you select what it is. It's the Sylvania Flex, one on the top right. Connecting to light, this may take a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this back up to the lights. Now I tell it what room I want it in. It's in my office. These are the monitor lights in the back of my monitor. I'm gonna rename this to monitor lights. Continue, no automation just yet. And there we go, done. Now I can control, they're off, they're on. And if my Apple Watch behaves, I should be able to use the control Siri. Hey Siri, turn off my monitor lights. Turn off the monitor lights. And they're off. So it works. That's how you set up a HomeKit device. You saw that even the Home app responded and it went off. Now here comes the fun one. Let's set up a non-HomeKit HomeBridge device. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using a smart plug that is not HomeKit compatible. So let's get started with that. Okay, now we're gonna add an actual HomeBridge device. This is a device that is not compatible with HomeKit but we're gonna use Homebridge to make it work. So in my home app, you see that I don't have the TP-Link smart plug visible. It doesn't recognize it. This is the Casa app that comes with TP-Link. I have TP-Link up and running and working. The plug's working, but only with its own app. HomeKit doesn't see it yet, neither does Homebridge. It's responding to the app. This is fine. Great. Now we've gotta to go to Homebridge and get the TP-Link plug-in. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here we are with the Mac and Homebridge. So what we're going to have to do right now is we're going to have to go to plugins, search for TP link smart home, install, save, now we have that plugin. Now, if we go back to the iPad and we go to HomeKit, let's add accessory and we're going to say I don't have a code. And now look, it says the home bridge, bridge, like it recognizes the bridge now. Unverified accessory, of course it is. Add anyway. Now you're gonna add that number that shows up in Homebridge. This would be the eight digit number that appears under the QR code at the top left. And it also appears in that off white box toward the bottom inside of the log readout. So I'm gonna add that number, hit continue. And it's actually gonna be in my bedroom. So I'm gonna see bedroom and I'm going to uh, rename this. This is the bridge name. Home bridge. Done. Continue. Now I have the home bridge bridge in home kit. After you restart, there it is. Office lamp on and off in the home app. I tap that, outlet just went off. Tap that, outlet just went on. 
And now, if I use my smartwatch, hey Siri, turn off bed lamp. There it is. Of course, now I gotta change the room to uh, not be my office, but my bedroom. And there we go. Done. Now we're controlling it with HomeKit. All right, I hope this has been useful for you. If you liked the video, please go ahead and like the video and uh, subscribe and see what I come up with next week. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.